If you are using split heat pump in the winter, then thanks to these two tricks, you can save even 20% on energy bill. I did it and after one year, I'm really happy with the results. First trick, add extra insulation in the compressor compartment. Usually you can find the simple black material around the compressor, which is better than nothing, but still not enough. There is lots of energy waste, because if temperature drops in the circuit, then also the pressure of the refrigerant. So we got lower efficiency. Actually, it's more complex than this, but now you got idea. I use special sheep wool for house insulation. It's ionized, so bugs hate it. Also, it's fire and high temperature proof. Of course, you can use other insulations like glass wool, mineral wool, but those are not very healthy when you are using them. In my case, after over one year, sheep wool still looks like brand new. It was a decent choice. Is it really working? In my case, yes. I noticed that my split used around 15% less energy. But in real world, this idea is more efficient when it's getting colder outside. So if there is plus 5 degrees outside, then you will barely notice any difference. But if there will be minus 5 degrees outside, then the difference will be more noticeable. Your heat pump will use less energy. Can motor overheat? I think no, because it's cooled by low pressure refrigerant from the input and opposite when you are used split to cool down your home. So there is no need to remove it at summer. This is very important. Be sure that insulation is nowhere close to electronics, cause insulation can absorb a little bit of moisture, then it's conductive and short circuit can damage your split. As you can see, I left lots of empty space between electronics and insulation. Now it's time for my experience. After one and a half year, I didn't notice any issues, any problems. Just efficiency seems to be greater cause my split use less electricity. Is it safe to do? Hard to say. I didn't find any other person who did the same idea. So far, I am really happy, but if I face any problems, you will find update in description or in pinned comment. Second idea is very tricky. If there is usually lots of snow at your location, don't bother. Here in Poland last year there was barely any snow, but it's cold, so I decided to add manual switch for drip tray heater, which prevent from icing on the tray. Heater usually turn on when temperature will be around 1 degree or lower, and in my 3.5 kW split it used around 80 W. You can say 80 watt is like nothing, but if it works 24 hours, 7 day a week, for 4 months, then you can imagine it could be pricey. So I decided to make easy mode, which for sure end up warranty for my split, but I don't care because grid systems got very rarely any issues. On the screen you can see red wire, which is pouring heater in this big blue cable. So I cut the red wire and added simple switch to manually control on and off process. For last three months, I only twice turned on heater for 24 hours to get rid of excessive ice on the tray. So I save at least $100 on energy bill. Is it all this worth? In my case, yes, because I spent this $100 not on energy bill, but to buy some extra gifts for my diggy doggy. So I am really happy. If you are newbie into electric stuff, ask someone with experience to help you out. Otherwise, any small mistake could be really pricey. I just shared with you my idea, my experience from real world tests. There is lots of videos where people just talk about their ideas, but they never test it. So you have no idea what you can really expect. So bros, if you have any questions, leave it in comment section. I will back to you and try to help. See you in next one.